Hello, friends of the internet. I don't know what to look at. Um, right there. Yeah, you look at that. I look at the other thing all the time, too. It is Friday, October. What's the day today? We're having a Four. nice fall day. It's October 4th. It's officially fall, folks. Yay! So you're I, guys, usually I don't really get into fall because usually I'm depressed that summer is ending because yeah, you always I do. like fall, but fall means that it's going to be negative 30 degrees, which means depression and gaining five pounds and not doing anything about it because it's cold. I love fall. She loves fall, I but always this year me. I'm really am trying to take advantage over fall because I never really have. And so that's what we're doing today. I had a relaxing morning. I got myself a coffee from Coffee Connection in town. And you guys, this coffee is the best thing I've ever tasted. And I'm not a coffee girl, Katie will tell you. She's been talking about it for the last 15 minutes. Like, it's literally amazing. She and doesn't like I coffee. don't like real she coffee. Likes, I like sweet likes coffee. Sweet coffee, yeah. And so I got this last year. It's called a pumpkin roll. And I got it in a frappuccino a couple weeks ago and I got it last year and I haven't had it in a, like a latte type form yet. And this is the best thing I've tried. Like literally it's fall in heaven in a cup, let me tell ya. And I just love driving in mornings. Driving is one of my favorite things to do. I love driving, having a drink with me and looking outside and looking at the nature. It's just fun. Yeah, it is fun. It's and so pretty too. I just love car trips. I love car trips. I just love to talk and just spend time and just drive. So, oh, and don't I, mind the tote in the back. It's been there because, since for yeah, two months. It was I also think, in the last video. It's clothes that I need to take to the thrift store, but I haven't gotten there yet. We've We're been so, so busy. busy. School is beating my butt. Yeah, it is. Literally, though, but a week goes by so fast. Like my sophomore and freshman year, it took forever, but now. A week flies by like a day because I'm so busy and getting my crap yeah, the done. Weeks, the weeks just like go by so fast and the days like literally if I had to put it they aren't even like it a day. would be like a snap. Like some of them suck, but then like they just because, go like, so Katie fast. Katie and I run around frantically mad women. Yeah. In the school trying to yeah, get our work literally. done. Yeah. She's stressed out. I stress out way too much. She stressed out way too much. Seriously, way too much. Right now it's so pretty. It's such a pretty morning. The yeah. birds are the out. Are changing and yeah, like the leaves are starting to change. Yeah, I love pumpkin spice and everything. I'm like one of those annoying white girls that like pumpkin spice. Especially her. I'm like, yeah, but I actually spice. like it though. Like I actually do like it. Like I really do like it. Even if it wasn't a hyped up thing, I'd still. Like pumpkin spice is just pumpkin spice to me. So one of the things that I think would benefit the people watching this is that school is up and going right now and we're all in our routines. I think a big thing, a topic to talk about is how do you carry out a Christian life in like public school? Amen. I think that's a big topic for a lot of people and it's I feel like hard. a lot of people watch it. Me really is. Probably wonder how that is done. Honestly, like let's be honest, sometimes it sucks. It's very, it's very difficult. You definitely have to, and I'm, I do, have, I'm not gonna say like I'm perfect, and I don't want, I want a Christian awesome. channel, and I really don't want hello us we're almost to there. sound perfect because I know a lot of Christian YouTubers do sound perfect, and I don't want to sound like I'm telling you to do things and like you're sounding wrong. Okay. Really, this is just how I do things and how I feel like God is and the Lord is telling me. So. All right. Carrying out a Christian life, you really have to, it's one of those cases where if school gets so busy and it's between Netflix or like your quiet time or like Bible time, Jesus time type stuff, it's very difficult and I used yeah, to like never hard. thought I would be able to do that like ever, but if it comes down to it when you're that stressed and like busy with activities, you almost like have to because when you are in, in such an environment like that when everyone yeah. is different you need from to you, constantly you have refuel to, yourself. Yeah, like you have to refuel yourself and I'm not saying like I'm perfect because there's some days when I'm like, oh yeah. my gosh, I just want to watch Netflix or I'm not like, you know, I haven't watched YouTube season. in such a long time and there are days when I have to make myself do it because 
but then if I know if I don't do it, I will not feel happy. And I can really tell in my difference too. If I don't have a Jesus time before school or before bed, I feel like sad. I don't know. It's just something I have to do. I just think you really have to stay consistent with your walk with God. And don't forget, because a lot of people leave God at home and leave Him in your bed. Yeah. It's so easy to get caught up throughout the school day and not think about Him. But one of the, I've been really challenging myself this past month to um, just go to school and pray to God about every good thing that happens, even if it's small, and to pray about everything that just pops into my mind that I'm worried about. And sometimes it's hard. Where is Dollar General? I think it's just up here. Yeah, it. Sometimes it's hard to keep my mind on it and I forget because I'm just so flustered and busy throughout the day. But that is definitely one of my things. Don't leave God at home because God is in you and yeah. well, in is that school cool. is your so, mission. Also, when I thought of school in that kind of perspective, it has helped me almost like be myself at school and to change my outlook on school because I used to just go to school and think, oh, school, like it sucks. I don't like these people. They're never gonna change. They're literally, people who go here turn into idiots. Like, that's what I thought. And it really just have to come down to a point where if Jesus can be around sinners and people unlike him, then there's no reason that I can't. And so you really just have to think, he had a mission field, that was his mission field, and this is my mission field. So that's really like, I feel like just what it comes down to is that you also, and it's very hard, I'd say Katie and I are in yeah. a part in our life where we don't have many Christian I always, friends. I always it's, get too stressed and then I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, heck with it, I'm not going to try today, I'm yeah. just not going to talk to anybody. And that's just a thing you have to just, I don't know, just keep God with you through it. But I also do want to talk about if you have a good, like, Christian people around you, definitely put them around you because... Kay and I are kind of in a season in our life and we don't have anybody like us to really converse with. Mark in the way back. And it is very difficult to do. But if you have a Christian group of friends and a Christian environment that you can go to, I would definitely do that because being around people also makes you want to be like that and encourage you and support you. So if you have that, and I definitely recommend that. Anyways, you guys, if this, this is the end of quick. the video, um, thank you for watching. If this is the end of the video, this is our talking show with Thank Katie you for watching Gracie. with Katie and Gracie on the way here. And we might film more. So we'll Later. just see how this goes. Thanks for watching and bye bye, folks. Happy fall. October 21st, 1975. Day of the game. We're sitting in a bar waiting for the game to start. And in walks this girl. Thank mm -hmm. you.